Question three, first question, add and fractions again. Although they've got thirds on the top, we're still just add and fractions. So we need to make our bottom numbers the same. So we're going to times our two denominators together. Two times five, ten. So we're going to have two tens on the bottom. What do we have to times this two by to get this ten? We had to times it by five. What did we have to times this one by? We had to times it by two. So then we have to do the same to our top number, so our thirds in this instance. So root three times five, five root three, root three times two, two root three, and then we're just going to add them together. So our bottom number stays the same. We're still going to have 10 on the bottom. We've got five root threes. Add another two root threes. So 5 plus, seven, uh, plus 2 is 7 root 3. And that's our answer for the first one. <clears throat> Second question. We're going to treat it exactly the same. Just treat it as our fraction. We're taking one fraction away from another. First step again. Make our bottom numbers the same. So the first thing we're going to do is times our denominators together. So 7 times 8 is 56. And then 56 on this one as well. And a little minus sign in there. What did we have to times 7 by to get 56 on the bottom here? We had to times it by 8. What did we have to times this fraction by? Or our 8 to get our 56, we had to times it by 7. So we need to do the same to our top. So root 5 times 8. 8 root 5. And root 20 times 7. 7 root 20. So we may have noticed then that we can simplify down our root 20. So if we take our root 20 off to the side, what can we simplify it down to? We can simplify it down to root 4 and root 5. Root 4 then just simplifies down to 2 because the square root of 4 is just 2. So that gives us 2 root 5 from our root 20. So we can swap our root 20 in our question for our 2 root 5 that we've just simplified down here. So our first fraction is going to stay the same. It's still going to be 8 root 5 over 56, but it's going to be minus <clears throat> 7 times the 2 that we've got here, which will give us 14, and this root is being replaced by our new root here, because our whole root 20 we've taken out, simplified it down, and replaced with our 2 root 5. So we need to times our two whole numbers that we started with, so our 7 by our 2, that's where our 14's come from, and we've now got our root 5, because our root 20 has been replaced by the root 5. And it's still all over 56. So if we take that away, 8 take away 14, that's going to give us our minus 6. So we're going to have minus 6 root, what was it, root 5 over 56. And we can simplify that down by dividing them both by 2. So we end up with minus 3 root 5 all over 28. And that would be your final answer. So a tricky little negative one there. Question 3. So again, slightly more tricky again. But we're still just adding fractions. So our first thought should still just be, how can we make our bottom two numbers the same? Multiply them together. So we should have 6 on the bottom plus our 6 on the bottom. What do we have to times this fraction by? We times by 3. What do we have to times this fraction by? We times by 2. So now we do 2 times 3 is 6. Then we're going to do our 5 times 3 is 15. 
and we can't do anything to our root 3 because that's attached to our 15 so we're just going to keep that as root 3 then we're going to do 3 times 2 is 6 7 times 2 14 again can't do anything with our root 3 because that's attached to our 7 and now our 14 here so we're going to get 6 plus 14 root 3 <coughs> then we're just going to add it all together like it says to do here so we're going to do 6 plus 6 is 12 15 root 3s plus 14 root 3s 29 root 3s and then our 6 just stays on the bottom just like that and that is the answer you should have got just there so 12 plus 29 root 3 all over 6 question 4 similar again we're going to treat it as taking away our fractions so we're going to make our bottom numbers the same so 6 times 7 gives us our 42 so we're going to have 42 on the bottom take away our other fraction which is also going to be 42 on the bottom what did we have to times our 6 by to get to 42 we times it by 7 so then we're going to have to times our 11 by 7 to get 77 minus our 8 times 7 which is 56 root 3 and exactly the same to this side as well so we're going to have to times all of our top values by our 6 so 9 6 is 54 plus 3 6 is 18 and then still our root 3 just there and now we can work it out again so we've still got 42 on the bottom but we're just going to do 77 take 54 to get 23 and then minus 56 minus 18 is going to give us minus 56 minus 18 we minus 74 root 3 so we had minus 53 root 3s take away another 18 root 3s so that gives us minus 74 root 3s all over 42 can't simplify it down so it's going to stay exactly the same just like that so that's our final answer for four five requires us to do a little bit more work now so it hasn't given us our thirds as the same number so we have to do a little bit of work to make that happen but to begin with we're going to treat it exactly the same as the questions preceding so we need to make our denominators the same so we're going to be all over 30 plus all over 30 and then we're going to need to times by the top so we need to times the whole of this top row by six the whole of this top row by five so one times six six three times six 18 and we've still got our root 15 and then this top row times by five so three times five 15 4 times 5 20 and we've still got our root 200 now we need to do a little bit of work with our thirds so if we take our thirds just off to the side so if we take root 50 and root 200 you may have noticed already we can simplify both of these down because they're not prime so we can simplify them down so our root 50 we can make root 2 root 25 and then our root 25 just becomes 5 so that's going to leave us with 5 root 2 and our root 200 can become root 2 root 100 root 100 is just 10 which will leave us with 10 root 2 so we can swap our root 50 in here for 
5 root 2 and we can swap our root 200 for 10 root 2. But we just have to remember to multiply our two front numbers for both questions. So if we rewrite that underneath, that's going to look like 6 plus 18 times 5. So we've got our 18 times our 5 to give us 90. Root 2 all over 30 plus 15 plus 20 times 10 so our 200 and again root 2 so our root 2's have just come from our simplified thirds that we did above all over 30 finally we can add them all together so we're going to have 6 plus 15, 21, plus 90 plus 200, so 290. And because we're collecting our thirds, it's 90 root 2s plus 200 root 2s is 290 root 2s altogether. So that root 2 just comes down as well, all over 30. We can simplify it tad, but we're just going to leave it like that. You've done very well just to get to that stage if you've managed that. And the last question on three, similar to the one we just did before, we're going to treat it the same as well. Need to make our denominators the same, so we're going to times them together. 15 on the bottom, 15 on the bottom times this row by 5, because we've got 5 on the bottom of this fraction. So we're going to have 45 plus 15 root 12 and then we're going to times this top row by 3 so we're going to have 18 minus 12 square root 27. Now we need to take our root 12 and our root 27 to one side like we did in the previous question and simplify those down. So we're going to have root 12 root 27 and then simplify those down to see what we get. So we could have root 3 root 4. Root 4 is just going to be root 2 so 2 root 3 and root 27 we can simplify down into 3 root 9 root 9 is just going to be 3 so 3 root 3 so our 12 square root we can swap for 2 root 3 and our root 27 we can swap for 3 root 3 so if we swap those in again we've got to remember to multiply our first two numbers and then we're just going to have root 3 left over so if we rewrite that it's going to be 45 plus our 15 times 2 so 30 root 2 because our root not root 2 root 3 sorry so our root 3 comes down all over 15 and our second fraction 18 take away 12 times 3, so minus 36 root 3, all over 15 again. So lastly, if we work all that out, we are going to end up with 45 minus 18, which will give us 27. 30 root 3s take away three root threes however it's take away minus root 36 so that's going to turn to a plus so we're going to have plus 66 root threes all over 15 just like that and i just want you to leave it like that for me we can divide it by three but i want us to just leave it at that point like that 